Are you ready to take a trip down memory lane to the late 80 seconds? If you're a fan of classic television, you've likely heard of the iconic series, Murphy Brown. But did you know the show had its humble beginnings in 1988? Now, before we delve into some lesser known facts and anecdotes about this beloved TV series, let me ask you this. Can you share a personal story of how Murphy Brown has inspired or impacted your life? Whether it made you laugh, cry, or even influenced your career choices, we'd love to hear your experiences in the comments below. But first, let's talk about the show itself. Murphy Brown was a groundbreaking sitcom that revolved around the life of the titular character, a strong-willed investigative journalist. Played by the talented Candace Bergen, Murphy Brown became a symbol of independent women in the workplace, breaking barriers, and challenging societal norms. The show's witty humor and sharp social commentary were not its only strengths. Murphy Brown addressed real-life issues and even made headlines for its connection to the world of politics. The series stirred controversy when then-Vice President Dan Keel criticized Murphy Brown's decision to become a single mother, sparking a national debate on family values and feminism. Now, as we unravel some fascinating facts and anecdotes about Murphy Brown, it's worth remembering that this series not only entertained but also made us think. So, are there any lesser-known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? As we explore these tidbits, keep in mind your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Murphy Brown. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below, so don't hesitate to share. In the TV series Murphy Brown from 1988, an interesting controversy arose during its run. In Season 4, Episode 26 titled Birth 101, the titular character, Murphy Brown, gave birth to her child, Avery. This plotline became a focal point of public discussion when Vice President Dan Keel criticized the show during a televised debate. He argued that the series was promoting the idea of single motherhood and the decay of family values, which were hot-button issues during that year's election campaign. In response to Vice President Keel's remarks, the show's producers and writers fired back in the season 5 premiere episode titled You Say Potato, I Say Potato. The debate clip was prominently featured in the episode, and much of the writing humorously addressed Vice President Keel's criticism. This controversy added an unexpected layer to the series, making Murphy Brown not just a sitcom but also a part of the national discourse on family values and single motherhood. This incident showcases how television shows can sometimes become part of the real-world political conversation, and Murphy Brown played a role in shaping that dialogue during its time. Candace Bergen, the actress who portrayed Murphy Brown in the 1988 TV series of the same name, received five Emmy Awards for her role. Interestingly, after her fifth win, she chose not to accept any more nominations for this character. This decision was a testament to her dedication to the role and her desire to explore new opportunities in her career. It's a remarkable fact about the show's history. Murphy Brown was a hit series, and Bergen's portrayal of the title character left a lasting impact, making her decision all the more noteworthy. The show also featured a character named Miles Silverberg, who was initially inspired by Jeff Zucker. Zucker later became the executive producer of the Today Show at just 26 years old. This connection adds an intriguing layer to the character's development. Furthermore, Jim Dial, another character in the series, was reportedly modeled after Jim Jensen, a prominent television news reporter from WCBS-TV in New York City. The resemblance between the character and the real-life figure adds depth to the show's portrayal of the newsroom. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the creative process and inspiration behind the characters in the iconic series, offering fans a glimpse into the show's history and the people who influenced its development. Murphy Brown remains a significant part of television history and continues to be remembered for its impact on the industry. The TV series Murphy Brown, which premiered in 1988, is best known for its unique humor and engaging storylines. One of the running jokes in the series was Murphy Brown's constant struggle to find a good secretary. Over the course of the show's first 10 seasons, Murphy had a total of 93 secretaries. These secretaries were referred to by numbers in the closing credits cast list, like Secretary 1 or Secretary 2. One standout secretary was Marsha Wallace, who played her character Carol Kester from The Bob Newhart Show. 
In one memorable episode, Dr. Robert Hartley, also from the Bob Newhart show, showed up and pleaded for her to return as his secretary, and she did. The humor continued as Murphy discovered there was a support group for her former secretaries, where they consoled each other over their inability to keep the job. This quirky aspect of the show added to its charm, making it stand out in the world of television. Murphy Brown's quest for a dependable secretary was a recurring theme that viewers found both amusing and endearing. So, while the series may have enjoyed a three-year ratings high from 1989 to 1992 when it aired back-to-back -back with Designing Women, it's the hilarious secretary saga that remains a memorable and distinctive feature of Murphy Brown. Candace Bergen, the star of the 1988 TV series Murphy Brown, made an interesting revelation during an interview on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. She disclosed that she had once dated Donald Trump when he was younger, describing him as a handsome douchebag. This revelation added an intriguing layer to the history of the show and its cast. Virgin's candid admission offered a glimpse into her personal life and provided a unique connection to a prominent figure in American politics. It's just one of the many fascinating aspects of the show and its cast that has left a lasting impact on television history. Additionally, Murphy Brown had a crossover moment with the popular sitcom Seinfeld. In the third season of Seinfeld, in the episode titled The Keys, Candace Bergen and the set of Murphy Brown made a guest appearance. In this episode, Candace Bergen played an actor hired to portray Murphy's secretary. Furthermore, Seinfeld creators Jerry Seinfeld and Larry David appeared as themselves on Murphy Brown creator Diane English's other sitcom, Love and War. This crossover not only showcased the interconnectedness of television at the time, but also provided fans of both shows with a delightful surprise. These intriguing connections and anecdotes remind us of the unique and memorable moments that Murphy Brown brought to television during its run. It's a testament to the show's enduring legacy and the influence it had in the world of entertainment. As we bid adieu to the 1988 TV series Murphy Brown, we find ourselves in the presence of a television classic that has left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of viewers for decades. This remarkable show, created by the brilliant minds of Diane English, brought us into the vivacious world of the tenacious, witty, and unforgettable Murphy Brown. In a world where storytelling can often feel like a fleeting whisper, Murphy Brown stood as a booming voice, echoing the aspirations, triumphs, and tribulations of a trailblazing journalist. It was more than a sitcom, it was a reflection of the times, a mirror to the societal shifts and challenges, and a celebration of the enduring spirit of resilience. The characters, from the eponymous Murphy Brown to the quirky and lovable supporting cast, became a part of our lives. Now, we invite you to take a moment and reflect on your personal connection with this iconic series. Whether it's the memorable one-liners, the engaging debates, the hilarious shenanigans at FYI, or the powerful messages it conveyed, Murphy Brown likely touched your heart in more ways than one. We'd love to hear your favorite memories, the moments that made you laugh until your sides hurt, or the scenes that moved you to tears. Share your thoughts, your anecdotes, and your passion for this extraordinary show. Your memories and reflections are a testament to the enduring legacy of Murphy Brown. They keep the spirit of the series alive and ensure that its impact continues to resonate through time. Thank you for joining us in celebrating this remarkable show and for sharing your thoughts. Your presence and engagement are truly appreciated. So tell us, what's your Murphy Brown story? Share it with us and fellow fans and let's keep the conversation going. Until then, keep enjoying the world of television, and remember, it's been a pleasure sharing this moment with you.